There we go. It's not stopping. Relax. So. How far along is the dinosaur? It, it's not done yet, but I knew everyone was going to ask to see it, so you, you get this for a minute while I explore a couple of spots that I need to look at. You are going to see a button that says Allosaurus. I am 99.9% .9 certain if I click the button, it's going to crash me. It crashed me this morning when I checked because I knew I was going to have to stream today and I knew everyone was going to see the button and everyone was going to say something. So I looked and it kills the editor. Can you talk about the differences of biped and quadruped? Yeah, biped has two legs. Quadruped have four legs. The differences don't exist yet. Uh, wait, hold on, do they exist yet? I checked the other day and they didn't. They don't, they don't exist yet. Yeah, they don't exist. The turning radius, uh, turning radius and stuff isn't there. See, look, he doesn't kick up grass when he runs, it's just dirt. No one can release that. That is a broken animal. Uh, our call's done. Uh, I know, a. Uh, I know that there is the prototypes done for all of them, but I don't know if they are plugged up. I'll put it... There were many things that were not plugged up, but I was supposed to assess the position that it was in. That one sounds like it... Not, 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 I don't know why I hit the F call when I said that one. If I had the visualizer playing, I, I should have seen, seen the sound, but there is something that played back there that was a one-shot that sounded a little off. A little... A little too close to the player reverb. Actually, you know what? I should probably go east. I'm cheating with my stamina because this thing is just having the worst of times. Is the wait for Maya confirmed? No. There, so there's an internal sheet um, that's already done for Myasora that involves all of its stats and information and stuff. But there, there is a decent chunk of like, uh, okay, so it's not entirely realistic, but we're going to grab some people and throw the animal against X amount of its predators to see if it can deal with a situation that it can't just decide to run away from. Because again... The herbivore's greatest strength, provided it can actually get away and stay away, is to just not engage. Because everything that hunts this thing has giant teeth, and wish to do it a murder. And and this thing has... Oh, whoops, I have alt attacks on. You know. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I'm in quadruped. Or I'm not in quadruped. Is it... Is it... Is it that? Yeah. Big stomps. No stompy noises yet, but big stomps. Pain. Uh, but after it's been ran through a gauntlet of being either murdered repeatedly or fending off its murderers, we, we adjust it after. I know right now the four-legged run is not what it's supposed to be, because it's this kind of... it's this run, and that is not what the Maya is going to use for a run. So... Alrighty, we need to go... probably could go straight down. 
Oh, is that working from this distance? Because it shouldn't be, and that scares me from a performance perspective. You should not be able to see the tower from here yet. Yeah, Maya's not particularly a uh, small animal. Is the Rex getting two calls options still being worked on, or is it scrapped? I mean, no, I don't want to... that'd be wasting it. Oh, his turn radius right now is super rough. Yeah, it's not, it's not real. It's very... it's very wide. Yeah, see this? See how, see how ridiculously wide this is? I'm holding W, so... Like, the actual turn radius for this is like... <laughs> Like, I think it's the Carno. <laughs> I don't know if these are fully finished, though, so... It has not been submitted to me! These might just be the very, very old ones. With minimal edits. Is the aloe bigger? Yeah, the aloe is bigger. Should be, anyway. I think it is, but a little bit. Maybe, maybe not in, like, head height. I'm not sure. It's a great question. Aloe explodes, so I haven't ran around with him in editor in a long while. What's, uh, what's the door height here? So human head heights like this, give or take. Were humans ever meant to be part of the game? Buddy, humans were meant to be the main focus of the game. Every person who says something about humans ruining the game shows exactly how long they have not been here. Humans were before dinosaurs. Oh no, animations uh, should be a little, little funky in some spots. I wonder if he's broken. I know that... So there's a fun thing about his right shoulder. He's got something weird with it in some animations. Which you might not be able to tell unless it's been pointed out for you. Oh, whoops. I run into a straight wall there. I know that there's something that was found that they're doing with his right shoulder currently. And I don't know if it's broken in everything or it's a few specific spots. But. All right. So you should be able to hear the T-Rex from far away as it's coming and uh you'll notice there's like this there's like this electric noise in distant uh, footsteps and like a, a broken glass ball being shaken. So these footstep sounds aren't real because these are absolutely not going in. You can hear it. underlying gross electric noise that sounds like a broken light bulb. Stuff like that, so. <sighs> How far off can you hear the Rex call? Uh, let's see. When we were doing a test for it for funsies, uh, it traveled from the northern point of the island here, which I don't know. Yeah, you all can't see my cursor northern point of the island to the highlands. Which is weird, because in other instances we've gotten it to travel a further distance, which is what it was supposed to do. Because um, basically, as long as you aren't occluded by an object, uh, T-Rex could roar, and you're supposed to be able to faintly hear it from a little over halfway across the island. There is no such thing as a Rex broadcast that doesn't tell the world where you are. Here, look at this little goober. Doesn't even have it doesn't have young calls set up yet. Look forward to having little little dumpy noises made by this thing.
you imagine? Some human just sees you, and you just stand up, and you're like, and then you just run off. Ugh. Rex doesn't like the new setup. Ooh, wait, what was that? Oh god, maybe that's what it is. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's what it... So, there's something happening with this trot here. Hold on, let me get back up to the top. Oh yeah, he does not work. And there was the crash. <laughs> he walked and he broke. <laughs> and then it crashed. Uh, carnivore diets still need a little love. As the roster expands, you're going to see all the carnivores fall off of the uh, um, preferred prey list. Because they shouldn't really be on there. Can you share anything on the improvements to replay and what effects it might have mentioned in the dub blog? Uh, I can tell you that I was asked about enabling replay, and that I was also uh, told that it was still having some weirdness with them not showing up until a second replay has been done. Um, and then there is a second issue that's open about replays occasionally disappearing. Uh, and then aside from that, there was a card that was assigned to me um, to gather up the post-processing effects and presets that I want to set for replay so people can start doing the click button one, two, three, or four through various presets so you can start um, using the, the type of uh, visuals that we use in our videos and stuff. So if someone wanted to make it look like it was coming from a trail cam or a body cam, there will be a few different presets and, and styles and stuff that they can choose from that will be like, oh look, we made a trail cam video without having to do all of the extra crap the devs did, you can do that. Are the little critters like rats and bugs going to be exclusive to sanctuaries? No. No, they are not. Sorry, I was taking my notes here. I wanted to uh, check on. So, uh, thermal vents here with these lovely debug textures on. Um, everything, of course, uh, I don't know if you all had, uh, saw the properties, but you can make them indefinite. You can give them times of day. Uh, anything over a certain speed right now is killing the stamina, which isn't supposed to happen, so you don't have to worry about taking these. You get free speed. This this down here doesn't... This is a lie. This won't end up happening to you. And then going against it is just the worst. This is what's supposed to happen. You're not supposed to actually lose stamina when going with it. But alas, here we are. And there is timing-based currents, so during mornings you may have particular currents that drive you towards certain areas, and then at night, uh, different air currents that drive you back, especially for spots that you would expect to find the pteranodons at during the night. So It's definitely not a, you must do this, but it's like, here's free gameplay stuff if you follow the circle. Yeah, even this is taking up stamina right now, so. Which is funny, it wasn't before. Not that it really matters. We'll just, we'll drain ourselves of stamina real quick. Right. 
So there we are, no stamina, can't fly up. There we go. So that part's still working. And then just for the sake of... We'll see what stamina looks like going through this with none of it. <laughs> 